I decided to get a couple more of these key blanks. Let's see if I can cut some keys on our fancy key cutter here. So I'm not sure if these this style is going to work. Um, it doesn't have the key fob, the buttons. I think that little tiny little remote got lost at some point whenever. But let's we'll see if I can get these things to work. I'm not sure how they're gonna how well they're gonna program, but at least I'll be able to get them cut. And I'll have two more keys. Alright, similar to the last video, use this for cutting the keys on the vertical side. Uh, normal cut keys, just lock this in place so it lines up with the key and just run it back and forth. Works pretty good. So what I did here, got two of these keys online. Got them cut, and then obviously, originally these trucks come with a separate key fob remote, and this is built in. The uh, These keys come with a tiny little rectangle looking piece, and that's the RFID chip that is inside here. You make sure you put that in there, otherwise it won't recognize the key at all. Um, it'll just think that there's nothing there. Um, so if you take the battery out of these, make sure not to lose that because then your key won't work. Now we're going to try to use the uh, Autel. I did this once already, so I know how it works. It works significantly easier than the, the Force Can. Um, and I get this set up here. I'll come right back. I've already gone through and did the Add Key previously because you want to try that first. Make sure your keys work. I know both of these keys already work, so we're going to go with all keys lost. Yeah, start. There's two keys required. I already know that. Keys in the on position. Yeah, that was a fast three to ten minutes, right? Current key is zero. Would not be able to start the truck. Ignition off. First key on, three seconds off. Next key, three seconds on, then off. Okay. So off. One, two, three. Next key. One, two, three. Now, I've yet to get this third key to work on any of these. It always seems to only work with two. We'll see if it works. Okay. We're going to scan, see how many keys and everything else we have. I know that we got a bunch of codes from something else already. Don't worry about that. Usually sometimes best to get this taken care of as well. Yeah, so we only got two keys. So this key doesn't work. It programmed my two ones with buttons. So we're gonna add key. Start. Key to be learns. Ignition on. Three to ten minutes in about five seconds. We have two learn keys already. Now we have three keys. We're done learning keys. All right, now let's move on to the key fob buttons here. All right, from our main menu here, we're going to go to the control unit, the remote system. We're going to program our remotes. So we press the unlock button. That's to that remote. Press a different unlock button. See the uh, code changed. Say OK. So these are the two we have. We're going to erase all of them. So we want to make sure that we only have the two that we have programmed. We go back, make sure this is the one we want. Oh, doesn't work anymore. But we push it. You see it still changes the codes. It, it's reading the code even though it's not programmed. So we want to program this remote first. 
We're going to program into the transmitter one. All right, that one's programmed. I'm going to go back. See, that one works now. Button two. It's not programmed, but you can still read it. So we're going to put that into transmitter two. Now that one's worked. First one. Okay. Go back out. Let's show you they both work now. And the second one. Okay. Simple enough. Much easier to do with this than um, trying to figure it out at a dealership or anybody else. Like and subscribe this video if you want to see anything else like this. Leave a comment, let me know, and I can see if I can get some more videos out here, get you some better quality content. Uh, other vehicles I'll probably find at the uh, auctions coming up. Um, more updates and add-ons and modifications to these vehicles and trucks. That's kind of what I do. I'm going to try something for fun here. Since we have four scan and I haven't tried doing this yet since I didn't have a vehicle old enough, they have an option on here to program keys and it gives you the same basic options as the Autel scanner. Um, you can only do this with the older Fords, uh, just with these kind of these, these plain, these plain keys. So all three keys are programmed currently to this truck using the, my Autel, uh, the fancy expensive scanner. This one, this option is free with four scans. So if you try this with your truck, you could probably just do this just with four scan. So what we're going to do, <clears throat> I already know these keys work, uh, but we're going to try the option here to erase and program keys. And if this fails completely, I always have my Autel scanner. So we'll see how well this works. So I'm going to put, see how well, I haven't tried this yet, so I'm going to bear with me. It's timed access on the Autel scanner only took about three seconds. This says it's going to take 12 minutes. This is uh, a little excessive, but it's free. So, um, yeah, this might take 12 minutes. All right, I'll come back here once it uh, finishes. All right, about 8, 10 minutes later here, I uh, got an update. I was asking if I have two keys available. Yes, I have three. And... Is that it? All keys have been erased. Just my minimum two keys. Turn the ignition off, cycle one key off to run for at least three seconds. Within five seconds after I take it out, cycle the second key off to run for at least three seconds. Okay. So, off, run, two, three. I think I only have two functional keys. Let's test this out here. Okay. Original key. Okay. Now uh, our third key, which I don't think it liked because it just reset everything. Yep. Nothing. Okay. 
So it did erase all my keys and it only programmed two. So now we need to go back and add a key. Which may take another 12 minutes. We're going to ignition key programming. It says there's three keys stored. Which I don't believe because it only programmed two. Right. Off. Start a new key. On and press OK. And now it's going to wait for another time to access. It's probably going to take another 10 12 minutes. Okay, I'll be back. And said programming Pat's key failed with still three stored keys somehow. Well, even though it gave me this error of uh, the security, the Pat's key failed, um, it worked. So you can, you can kind of see here we got, organize this a little bit. So we have two keys, three keys. So third key, sorry, this one handed. Okay, one key. Two key. Two key. Three key. So it is possible with four scan, although I don't know if I'd really trust it since it gave me an error um, and it's got no options to program the, the remote button which is much easier to do with the uh, Autel scanner but obviously it's significantly more expensive so I'm sure my buttons still work here yeah the so buttons still work keys still work buttons you have to program separately <laughs> 